the corner of filament, the corner of foam, the filament corner. All right, spray can trigger. This is a trigger that prints like that right there. Doesn't have any supports. And we're going to test it. So the first thing is some good old hairspray because this has a different this has a different tip on it than the other stuff I've got. So it press fits, and whenever you squeeze, it goes down onto the tip, and it sprays. So, it works with this hairspray. But I've also got some, a couple of spray paints. Um, And this has free rotation, so you do have to you do have to rotate it correctly whenever you pull the trigger. So it's it's easier to uh, pull the trigger and get the hairspray to squirt out than these cans, but these cans have a different trigger. So, see, they have a different trigger than the uh, hairspray does. And I was trying to make this work for both of them. So, and then. Yep, simple uh, spray gun holder, trigger, gun, whatever they call them. They call them about ten different things on the internet nowadays. Um, doesn't use any hardware, it's just printable. It press fits onto the can. As you can see, there's a... Uh, this has got a little ridge on the inside. And that keeps it on the can once you press it against the can. Now, so the pros are it doesn't use support material because I've extended, I've cut this hole in the top for this arm trigger. And it prints that right off the bat all the way up. So that way it doesn't need supports. And I did print it with this curve, and of course this curve doesn't look the best, but this is a functional tool. This is a practical print. I don't care if it looks nice. That's why I didn't care about this curve and putting support into this curve. Now, the handle is hollow. There's a big gap in the handle, and that's not... That's not really for print time, that's more for just saving on material because you don't have to put infill into that gap. So, but as you can see, it does work. Now, it may not work with your machine. What I mean by that is this is a press fit. So, it may, your machine may have better tolerances than my machine or it may have worse tolerances that's that's the downside to this that's the con to this so the pro is that you know it doesn't need hardware and you can print it without support material in one piece but the con is that well it may not work on your machine your machine may be better than my machine 
so that is a downside and I do have a well not really a remedy but a uh, a solution that I use for that and I'll show it to you right here in a second all right so my my little remedy yes and that's what it is is this right here may not look like much but it's basically the bottom of the trigger only you don't have to print this to find out if it fits so let me show you let me grab one of these cans here nope somebody's car is going off So yeah, that's my, that's my remedy to figuring out if this will work on your printer, is to just print this instead of printing this. It may not sound too amazing, but it's better than printing this and it not fitting. So, and of course, I mean... You could use this for whatever if you just want to hang cans by strings or something. Go for it. <laughs> so yeah, there you go. Spray can trigger has a trigger that's all it's all printed.